Marks, how's the, uh, how's the legs feeling after uh, the efforts today? Yeah, obviously the first competitive match, um, it was a high, high tempo game, obviously to be expected, you know, both teams want to do well in the cup, so yeah, they're feeling not too bad, but I'm sure they'll be a wee bit tight in the morning, so I need to go a wee, a wee cycle or something, get ready for Tuesday's match now. How's it been playing beside Gregor so far, this new centre-half pairing that we have? Yeah, it's been good, obviously come up against each other over the years, um, many a times, and uh, obviously, Gregor's you know been appointed captain, so delighted for him, and you know we're looking to you know get a strong partnership and you know make sure that we can you know drive the team forward and uh, you know make sure we're, we're solid at the back, and that you know that puts confidence into the midfielders and attackers to you know know that, um, knowing that we've got good cover at the back. And both of you, you know, if you're respectfully, you're kind of known for being fairly dominant in the air and kind of, um, you know, that that kind of dominating style of play. So is it something that's going to be important for Falkirk this season? Of course, of course it is. Um, it's, it's important for any team that you've got defenders, um, you know, that can win their headers, win their physical battles. Um, you know, as today you've seen, it's for Livingston very, very physical side, and we're not going to always come up against that every week. But when you do, you need to stand up and take it because, you know, teams all in this in this league, um, we're going to be playing, and it's, it's teams are going to make it hard for you and. We're going to be trying to play off your mistakes, so you need to be solid and we need to be strong, and that's something that we need to build from now until the end of the season. And is that something that both the players and fans might have to adjust to the fact that the style of some teams that would respectfully in this league is perhaps different to what they're used to in the Championship? Um, I've no, obviously, I've no, we've not played in this. Um, Falkirk's not been in this league. Um, I don't know how long. Um, I've not played in this league for a while, but watching some of the matches, it's, it's I think it's very. Um, I don't know how to word it, I want to slaughter the league, but a bit frantic at times and um, teams will make it difficult for us, that's for sure. Um, other teams will come here and maybe think they'll sit off the ball and let us have it and you know try and pick their moments to press. So it's, each, each game's going to be very different um, and we just need to adapt to that. But, you know, um, there'll be games where we'll, we'll be, it'll be, it won't be pretty and it'll be a scrap and we'll need to make sure that we're winning the games 1-2-0. But, the will are games where it will be on for us to play and we'll make sure that we need to um, go in top form for that but like you say um, there will be games where we need to we'll need to knuckle down and win our individual battles so then the midfielders and strikers can, can do their thing. Lyndon Dykes is a, a bit of a handful to, to play against but you guys looked like you, you enjoyed that today. Yeah he is, I've played against him for a couple of years now. Um, I think, I think he, he's probably improved um, since he's been at Queen's and he suits the way Livingston play. They're very direct and very um, physical, so you know, the way they play, they just they put it up and try and make the defenders um, make mistakes. But obviously, um, me and Gregor, you, you, need to, you need to take the good with the bad. You know, he won a few, and a, a few of his battles and we won a few of our battles. And, um, it was obviously a physical match, but uh, I think we stood up well in the end and you know, I'm just delighted that um, Big Sammy's managed to get us a goal and you know, take it to penalties. We seem to kind of grow into the match as it progressed. Is that a fair comment or not? That's how I, that's how I personally seen it. Um, obviously playing in the pitch, I felt we grew as the game got stronger. I thought it was a bit frantic at the start of the match. Um, it was always going to happen, I think, just high tempo match and lovely to make it difficult for you. They you know, the rat around and make it hard for you to play. But I think once we, we went two up top and caused them a bit of problem, then it started creating us more space and behind to get in the ball. So yeah, I think we definitely grew as the match went on and I think we had a few half chances just before the goal. So I, I definitely felt that a goal was coming, so it was good that we got it. And if we can create half chances against a team currently in the Premier League, that must stand us in good stead for this season. No, definitely, of course. Um, like I say, they're very physical and you know, they obviously done really well in the league last year. They're, they're a handful, so the fact that we have you know, created good chances and we have been physical with them and made it difficult for them to handle. So it's, it's going to stand as good stead and it shows good character for the team, you know, that we're 1-0 down and we're still pushing to the end to try and get a goal for the equaliser. And then even like that, we potentially want to go and get the winner, which we should at home. And that'll be the, that'll be the case all season. We'll have to be going all the 90 minutes to make sure we're, we're getting goals. It's almost a, a, an entirely new dressing room for Falkirk. Can we ask what the, the kind of mood is in, amongst the group and uh, how you're kind of gelling together just now? Yeah, well, I think it's obviously good that I think mo well, most of the boys obviously have been pointed out over Twitter and stuff that everyone knows each other, um, whether it's playing at different clubs or coming against each other. So everyone's very familiar. It's, it's not like we don't know each other and it's taking time to bed in. So it's... Um, 
it's a very positive dressing room as it, as it is. It's exciting for us. We've came to a, a massive club that's it's in a league that obviously it shouldn't be, but it is. This is reality, um, and we're all we're all very positive that we want to get the team back up into the championship, pushing on for then to go and do well again. So it's very positive at the moment, um, and it's just as long as we keep working hard, banging on in the dressing room, that work hard, and you'll get your awards. And just finally, it seemed to be the mood amongst the fans today was progression in the League Cup would be nice, but um, it's almost like all eyes are kind of on Peter Head in three weeks' time already. To what extent is it important that Falkirk get off to, to a good start in the league? Well, the league, the league will obviously massive. Um, obviously, as it currently stands, we're in the Betfred Cup and we've got four matches in two weeks. Um, and we do want to do well in it, of course we do. Um, I think... Livingston coming down here, Premiership side, and obviously we show that we can compete with that. So I don't see why we shouldn't be realistic and try to get out of the group into the next stage. So that's what we are do we are aiming. Um, we're obviously the league campaign's massive. We're not really looked into it as yet because we're still in the cup. But when that comes around, we obviously we need to get off the flyer and we want to start the league campaign as good as we can. So. Once it comes around, we'll definitely be all eyes on it and making sure we get a good start. But at the moment, I think we want to enjoy the cup and try and get a good cup run. Here's hoping we can. Mark, well played today. Thank Thanks you for your very time. Much. Cheers.